you know, Rachel is joining the Spark this summer. How exciting is that for, for you guys? I mean, it, it's awesome. I mean, it's so cool to see our former kids that want to continue to play. And um, Lexi's going to have the same opportunity when the time is there. Um, but anytime you can get these former kids to 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 want to continue to play, and then to have her and um, to play for for the the Spark, um, it's really cool. It's cool that they're going to be around here. I mean, you know, she's going to keep talking about Oklahoma State, and um, the more we can have that out there, the more it just brings more light and more attention to the program. And um, like I told her, I'll help you any way I can, whatever it is. And that's the promise I made. I make to all of them. This is not a, you know, she was here for one year. And when I recruited her, I said, this is not a rental. This is not a free agency thing. This is a forever thing. Um, and so if that's not what you want, don't come here. Like, do not come here. Like, this is where I want you to bring your family back to forever. This is where I want you to bring it back and show them your face on that all American wall. Um, and, and, and tell them about the great moments and memories that you have here. It's going to be along those same lines. Um, and I know this isn't something you're thinking about this time of year, but uh, obviously college softball continues to grow and become a bigger deal. The pro level hasn't been able to find the consistent success. What do you think could help professional softball? Major, major League be, be, uh, Baseball. Um, they need to do it like the NBA did. Um, I hate baseball, to be honest. I mean, I watch it because my son plays. I used to love it. It's too slow and boring. But they could use softball like softball could use them. Um, and um, it's a perfect pair. There's a, I think there's, it just, we just need to get the right people that truly have the best interest of both games. Like not making money for their for their pockets, that's not going to happen right away. This is a long term uh, thing, and so if we can get Major League Baseball to continue to to be on board, it seems like they're they're taking the baby steps. But we need somebody, we need some owner, we need somebody to like jump in and just take risk. Like there's risk is good, man. There's there's something good at the end when you take risk, and um, and there, these. I mean, I'm getting to coach the most powerful women in, in the in the world here, and um, you know, uh, the, our world is ready for that. And I, I want these guys to have opportunities, but it's going to take Major League Baseball, like they've done in the NBA. And it didn't didn't start off good in in the WNBA. It, I, I don't think I don't have all the numbers right, but it wasn't very appealing to start with because it was new and it was just. They had to figure it out. It took time, and now all of a sudden they're they're trying to add teams and they're trying to do more things. And then Caitlin Clark shows up, and um, and there's already been a lot of great players, but it takes the perfect storm, and um, we can't have the perfect storm unless we have opportunity. So we just I think we need something like that to happen, um, uh, and um, the people are out there. They just don't know it yet. Somebody's gonna have to kind of kind of nudge them and get in front of these guys so they can kind of be passionate about our game and, and what it's all about.